Today's food for thought comes from the third chapter of Genesis, verses 2 and 3, which reads, The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. Something that I repeatedly tell those that are true and that are sincere believers in the Lord is that we are his testimony. And I want you to understand today, whether you realize this or not, you are God's testimony. Repeat that in your heart. Now to that point, we must understand that all people are watching to see how we, the child of God, how we move, how we respond, how we react. Joseph, one of my favorites that we find in scripture, was one that was very blessed and highly favored in God's eyes. Scripture tells us that Jacob, his dad, loved him more than his brothers because he was the younger of them. The Lord would give Joseph dreams of greatness that thrilled him, that excited him, and he would share his dreams with his brothers. Now, rather than them being excited and happy and rejoicing with Joseph with the dreams that he was having, his brothers, they sold him into slavery. Joseph, he wasn't destroyed. Joseph, he moved in great faith and he remained blessed and he remained highly favored regardless of the awful thing that had happened to him in his life. By moving in faith, Joseph, he continued to be greatly blessed. Joseph, he was so blessed that even the Pharaoh at that time realized that God was with Joseph. And that Pharaoh even began to trust Joseph. I share this with you all today because, again, I want you to keep pushing forward in faith, whether you're in a good period or in a bad period in your life. You are God's testimony to believers and even to non-believers, which means that you are a testimony that can inspire anyone. You are a testimony that can inspire anyone to push forward. You can inspire anyone to turn their life around and to have faith in the Lord.